It gives an estimate of the relative effects of advection or induction of a magnetic by the motion of a conducting medium, often a fluid, to magnetic diffusion. It is typically defined by where is a typical velocity scale of the flow, is a typical length scale of the flow, is the magnetic diffusivity. The mechanism by which the motion of a conducting fluid generates a magnetic field is the subject of dynamo theory. When the magnetic Reynolds number is very large, however, diffusion and the dynamo are less of a concern, and in this case focus instead often rests on the influence of the magnetic field on the flow. General characteristics for large and small room. 4. Advection is relatively unimportant, and so the magnetic field will tend to relax towards a purely diffusive state determined by the boundary conditions rather than the flow. 4. Diffusion is relatively unimportant on the length scale L. Flux lines of the magnetic field are then advected with the fluid flow, until such time as gradients are concentrated into regions of short enough length scale that diffusion can balance advection. Range of values. The sun is huge and has a large, of order 106. Dissipative effects are generally small, and there is no difficulty in maintaining a magnetic field against diffusion. For the Earth, is estimated to be of order 103. Dissipation more is significant, but magnetic field is supported by motion in the liquid iron outer core. There are other bodies in the solar system that have working dynamos, e.g., Jupiter, Saturn, and others that do not, e.g., Mercury and the Moon. The human length scale is very small so that typically, the generation of magnetic field by the motion of a conducting fluid has been achieved in only a handful of large experiments using mercury or liquid. Sodium bounds on the magnetic Reynolds number. In situations where permanent magnetization is not possible, e.g., above the Curie temperature, to maintain a magnetic field must be large enough such that induction outweighs diffusion. It turns out that it is not the absolute magnitude of velocity that is important for induction but rather the relative differences and shearing in the flow, which stretch and fold magnetic field lines. A more appropriate form for the magnetic Reynolds number in this case is therefore where S is a measure of strain. One of the most well-known results is due to Bacchus which states that the minimum for generation of a magnetic field by flow in a sphere is such that, where is the radius of the sphere and is the maximum strain rate. This bound has since been improved by approximately 25% by Proctor. Many studies of the generation of magnetic field by a flow consider the computationally convenient periodic cube. In this case the minimum is found to be where is the root mean square strain over a scale domain with sides of length 2 asterisk pi. If shearing over small length scales in the cube is ruled out, then is the minimum, where is the root mean square value, relationship to the Reynolds number and Pecklet number. The magnetic Reynolds number has a similar form to both the Pecklet number and the Reynolds number. All three can be regarded as giving the ratio of advective to diffusive effects for a particular physical field, and have a similar form of a velocity times a length divided by a diffusivity. The magnetic Reynolds number is related to the magnetic field in an MHD flow, while the Reynolds number is related to the fluid velocity itself and the Pecklet number are related to heat. The dimensionless groups arise in the non-dimensionalization of the respective governing equations, the induction equation, the momentum equation, and the heat equation. Relationship to eddy current breaking. The dimensionless magnetic Reynolds number is also used in cases where there is no physical fluid involved times times whereas the magnetic permeability is the electrical conductivity for the skin effect is negligible and the eddy current breaking torque follows the theoretical curve of an induction motor for the skin effect dominates and the breaking torque decreases much slower with increasing speed than predicted by the induction motor model